Welcome back to our video roundup. I'm Valerie Jimison and I'm going to take you through our favourite science stories from the past week. First, we have some grunting fish that may remind you of someone you know when they're in a bad mood. Well, it turns out the two aren't so different after all. Sandrine Kirstemont tells us more. In humans and other animals, brain activity is converted into muscle movements to produce sounds. But until recently, little was known about how fish make noises. Here, a male midshipman fish is in his nest, hiding a female behind him. Males often growl when competing for a mate, as shown here when another male swims by. By studying the developing brains of these fish, researchers found that signals are passed from the brain to the spinal cord and then onto their grunt-producing swim bladder. Surprisingly, the brain circuit that controls their calls has the same pattern of connections as in other animals. This suggests that vocal centers in the brain evolved from the common ancestor of all vertebrates about 400 million years ago. Different species then forged additional brain connections to create their unique vocalizations. It's something to think about next time you're at a concert. Our next video shows what Earth might look like to an alien astronomer with a telescope far more powerful than our own. This footage was captured in May by the Deep Impact spacecraft as it cruised along 50 million kilometres from the Earth. During the course of one day, it took a photo every 15 minutes to generate this view of the Moon gliding past our planet. Astronomers are hoping it will help them find out more about the planets outside our solar system. For example, a sun glint can be seen in the video, which is caused by light reflecting from the Earth's oceans. Our strongest telescopes can only see a dot of light when pointed at stars a few light years away, but if they're able to spot similar reflections, it could indicate an alien ocean. Finally, if you've ever wondered why the pears in your fruit bowl rot faster than the apples, Belgian researchers might have the answer. Sandrine takes up the story. Here's a glimpse of the inside of a pear at a resolution of 7 microns. Carbon dioxide and oxygen use empty space to move between the cells of the fruit. Here's a similar view of the interior of an apple. The volume of empty space is about five times larger than in a pear. This allows for more carbon dioxide and oxygen to move between the cells of an apple. It could explain why pears tend to go brown before apples when stored in identical conditions. That's all for now, but you can check out our website for more science stories. For example, watch a narrated slideshow about turtle migration routes or explore an interactive map that shows the best places in the world to survive cancer. Bye for now. See you next time.